Amalgamated Bank's Chief Sustainability Officer Ivan Frischberg is here with us at Post 9 to talk more about uh, what is of concern. It's good to have you. Thanks for Great. the time. Thank you. Great um, to be here. I mean, this has sort of been talked about in, in abstract ever since he got into Twitter, and obviously SpaceX has been another bucket of activity. What, what set this particular letter off, though? Sure. Well, let me start off by saying that uh, we really want the company to succeed. We're investors. We're significant investors into the company, and we think that the uh, manufacturing of EVs, the clean energy, you name it, like there's, there's a lot uh, to benefit from here. And uh, on behalf of our investors, though, we have a growing concern that Tesla has a governance problem. Uh, and it's, it's distracted in its leadership, and we've been engaging for a number of years with the company around some of the workplace issues that we think have held the company back. Such as? Uh, they have recently lost a couple of court decisions uh, in the state of California around forced arbitration. So they are forcing companies, or employees rather, to uh, sign on to contracts that uh, just require them to go through arbitration in the cases of harassment or uh, discrimination. And this is something that was uh, outlawed last year by the Congress for uh, gender-related issues, but it's still become a race issue within the, the, the shop floor of the company. So you think it's broader than just sort of time spent on behalf of Musk? Is it broader than that? It is broader than that. It's, it, it's about, also, it's about the level of control and whether or not there's sort of adequate policies and traditional kind of governance that you see in most com companies around the country uh, to really make sure that the company's delivering and high functioning and, and for, you know, rewarding investors. Uh, there are plenty of uh, investors who would say, you know, social is not our concern or it shouldn't be. This is, you're making this more than a governance issue, clearly, in talking about factory conditions and, and things of that nature. Why do you argue that that's important to the performance of the company or something that you as a shareholder should even be concerned about? Look, I mean, from the business side, the, I, think, I think the old business school saying is a culture eats strategy for breakfast, right? Uh, and the employee culture, if it's not working well, if there's not a good relationship with employees, if employees are having to, like, violate contracts, to go to the court system, to seek redress for clear cases of, of discrimination, that's not good for the company. Uh, it's not great for, for any employee uh, management dynamic. I mean, you're a fiduciary. Do you think that if these were remedied in some way, the stock price would be performing better? We think this is the connection to governance, right? That it's not just a social issue or an S in the E, S, and G, that these things are related, uh, that having the right kind of policies does increase performance. We know that. Uh, but it takes the right kind of governance to, to put in those policies into place to oversee them and, and do the kind of oversight that, that a company needs. Is there anything new there? I mean, there have been governance complaints about Tesla for forever. Is, has it, is there any reason why raise that now? Well, I mean, I think the growing frustration over the last year has been that his, he's more distracted than ever. Uh, the company is facing more challenges, in, you know, on a lot of fronts, and so I think it's it's a it's a reflection of, you know, we've been engaged on some of these issues for a long time. This collective that you've seen the lot in the letter is really a sense of over the last year of this sort of you know, what's really going on here, and it's really actually starting to to harm the company. Why you've not just that sell your stock. stock instead of making an argument? I mean, we're there. We're, we represent multi-employer pension funds that are take broad market exposures. They're they're not actively traded funds, so we're we're there to represent the broad market, and they're a big part of it. I don't think there's there's many people who are in the market right now in America that don't own a piece of Tesla, and and so that's you know that's who our investors are.